Hey everybody, Darren Slaughter, DarrenSlaughter.com. Today I want to talk to you about um, your media description and what is a meta media description. That is when you do a search and you get the search re result back and you have the main URL and then underneath of it you have the description. That's what the meta description is. In the old days, you used to be able to pack the crap out of that thing with keywords and hopefully the search engines would help you out and show you some love and rank you a little bit higher than the guy below you. Um, the meta description hasn't been used in search ranking for a long time. What that space has become, those 165 characters have become, is they've become an advertisement. They've become the first thing, the first thing that, you, that your prospects ever see about you is that 165 characters. So I still see a lot of contractors out there who will pack that thing and say, we're the best Chicago window replacement company in Chicago because we've replaced the greatest windows ever in Chicago. Make that be an ad. Make that be a headline. Make that be, you know, take that from maybe postcards you used to do or, or just create a new description for that meta description because that's what real people are going to see. Search engines don't care anymore, but the people that actually write you checks to build stuff um, are going to see that. First, so you want to make sure that that is a description that entices them. What that's doing is selling them to click through to your site and read the rest of the great stuff that's supposed to be or hopefully on your site. So, if you haven't fixed up or addressed your meta description in a long time, now's the time, perfect time to, to get in there, make it look like an ad, make it look like something that shows a feature and a benefit and a call to action to click here for more information so that people will see that they'll want to click through and hopefully they wind up on your home page that's it hope that helps bye